With over 650,000 cases worldwide, and now more than 100 confirmed in San Antonio, it's almost impossible not to talk about it. Our general track project focuses on the coronavirus outbreak. Hundreds of thousands getting infected, countries taking extreme measures, and experts scrambling to understand it. Our team decided to create a world in Minecraft where COVID-19 exists, and the results are almost as scary as the virus itself. Oh my oh god. Oh no, our god. first casualties. Social distancing is meant to dramatically slow the rate at which the infection spreads, which should ease the burden on the healthcare system. Many simulations are available to the public that test the use of social distancing, as well as not enforcing social distancing, and the results can seem shocking. But how can we make for a more interactive experience, especially for those who don't fully understand the economic impact or even why social distancing is necessary? Enter Minecraft, the sandbox video game developed by Mojang. Heavily interactive, in many instances realistic to survival of the real world, and very mod-friendly. Here's a list of programs and languages we used for this project. I call this entity.infect and I'm giving myself a mild case of coronavirus. Uh -huh. It's only going to be me that's in the bank, so it's going to loop through myself. Yeah. Uh, however, if anyone's in my proximity, they will be added to the list and that's how we're going to expand and it's just going to keep growing uh, however many people we, we come into contact with. After compiling pages of research, we implemented a method of contraction from user to user, making the player likely to contract the virus if less than six blocks away from the host, representing six feet. We started with a 100% transmission rate, but after many failed attempts, we finally used logic to create the likelihood of transmission. According to a 2018 Gallup poll, one in four Americans have pre-existing medical conditions, so 25% of the villagers we created were considered immunodeficient. With the average patient spreading the virus to at least 2.2 others, the ratio to percentage conversion is a 45% likelihood that the host transmits the virus. If the victim contracts the virus, there's three types of severity. An 80% chance that they become mild or asymptomatic, 15% chance that they become severe, and a 5% chance that they become critical. Mortality. We took the cases that ended up critical and created new logic. Your odds of dying in critical condition are 68%, which is 3.4% of all cases. So if the random number generates below 68, they die. Luckily for the rest of cases, the population was able to recover after 14 days. But this virus is heavily contagious, and there's still plenty of research to be done. Anyone who runs this Minecraft simulation on their server will discover the lasting damage created with an infected population, and a virus still looming.